Hi there, Miranda. Uh, I'm going to try to explain uh, the difference between voltage and uh, current uh, because I see that's, uh, that's a challenge. Um, well, voltage and current, they, they belong to another, uh, to each other. And they actually made a formula uh, for, the, uh, for the two, actually the three, because it's three uh, uh, dimensions that, that come together. And the formula uh, is called Ohm's law. And Ohm's law is called like this. And Ohm's law explains how the current, uh, the voltage and resistance uh, come together. It's done like this. U is I times R. And U is the voltage, uh, I is the amperes, and R is the resistance. And I know this sounds very clinical, very, um, uh, it, it doesn't make very much sense, but when I, when I introduce another picture, it will make some sense. Um, this, is, this is gonna explain what, uh, Actually, the voltage, uh, the resistance, and the current, uh, what their role is actually in Ohm's law. Um, what you see here is the yellow, uh, the yellow person, it's, it's, it's a puppet, it's a person who's trying to push. So it's, it's more a pressure, what he, what he is, uh, is, is, uh, is, is doing, he, he's, he's pushing. And this pushing is done is called the voltage. Um, the one who's being pushed through the opening here, it's the amperes. Um, the amperes, it's it's uh, all about how much um, electricity flows. So the voltage is trying to push the the amount of electricity. The amount of electricity that that passes through uh, the opening is the amperes. So that's the green fella here. Um, the, the brownish fellow on top, he's actually trying to prohibit uh, the amperes to go through. Um, it's, it's called the resistance. Um, and the resistance, it's, it's um, um, explained in ohms. So the, um, the, 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 uh, the value uh, which you give the resistance, it's the specific number uh, in ohms, so for instance, 100 ohms, and uh, the value of the uh, the current flowing through, it's uh, explained in amperes, so a specific number uh, with amperes added to it. So uh, we're talking about perhaps two amperes. Um, the voltage here, which is trying to push uh, the whole thing, whole thing through. It's uh, called a specific number with volts. So uh, perhaps this one is, is, is pushing with uh, 50 volts. And then it, it becomes interesting because when I, when I look at this, um, uh, this formula, it says that the voltage is equal to amperes times resistance. So if we say that the amperes, for instance, is 10 amperes and the resistance here is for instance 2 ohms then the voltage needs to be 10 times 2 is 20 volts so if if we have 20 volts and we have 2 ohms resistance that means that that can go through 10 amperes so that's the the uh, the whole physics around amperes, voltage, and uh, ohms, and resistance. Uh, so that's actually uh, what, what the triangle of um, voltage, amperes, and ohms is like. What we see in the display of the APS device is amperes. So the green fellow is in the display. The, um, the voltage is done by the knob. So the, the yellow um, uh, fella is the dial which you turn. The red, yeah, uh, the red fella here, 
which is called the, the resistance, that's found in your body. Your body uh, produces a, a certain amount of resistance, uh, which makes it more easy or more difficult for the amperes to go through. So body or tissue, um, display, and the dial. So that's, that's the whole thing uh, about the, uh, the current, the electricity, and the flow, and the resistance in, in your body with the APS device. Another thing I see you struggling with is uh, the, the uh, prefix. It's about milli or micro, and uh, I'm going to show you that as well. This is a table which might be uh, a little small to, to, uh, to read, but what, what happens here is um, if, if we look at, for instance, at uh, uh, meters instead of amperes or voltage, but we look at meters, uh, you have one meter which is a specific length. If we have a thousand meters, we call that a kilometer, and a kilo is nothing less than one thousand, so it's, it's t something times thousand and um, you have for instance one gram and uh, a thousand grams is one kilogram so a kilo stands for one thousand and uh, it, it multiplies your, uh, your your specific amount with a thousand um, here, here in this table you can see it a kilo is one thousand Hecto, for instance, is 100. One hectometer is, or one hectoliter, is 100 meters or 100 liters. Um, deca, uh, which stands for 10 in, in, in Greek, by the way, uh, is 10. So uh, it's one decameter is 10 meters. The base unit is just one. So one meter is one meter. Uh, but if, we, if we're gonna go smaller instead of bigger, uh, because the, the deca, the hecto, the, the kilo, and the next one is mega, uh, giga, tera, or peta, those are uh, amplifying, they, those are uh, making the, the base number bigger. Uh, but we also have prefixes that make them smaller. Instead of making them bigger, uh, deci is uh, dividing it by 10, instead of deca, which is multiplying by 10. So deci, one decimeter, is only 10 centimeters. Then we come to the next one, because centi is one hundredths, so 100 centimeters in a meter. Milli is one thousandths, so 1,000 millimeters in a meter. Micro, so one micrometer, is one million. One million micrometers in a meter. If we, if we look at, so actually the, 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 the millimeter and the micrometer, they are the same, uh, talking about the same thing, because they are talking about the meter. The only thing is, is that the millimeter is one thousand, thousandths of a, of a meter, so fairly small, but one micrometer, which is actually um, explained by the, 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 Greek, uh, the Greek M, uh, which is called mu, uh, I will write it a little bit bigger here. It's it's more like a um, a, a U with with an extra leg, but the extra leg um, this this is actually called mu. So in Greek uh, they they call uh, that's the the M uh, and it's called mu, and mu uh, means one million of a certain um, a certain amount of a specific amount. So if we if we look at um, uh, for instance millivolts or microvolts, um, then we get back to this fella here. Millivolts means that if I have one millivolt, one thousandth of a volt. If I have one uh, microvolt, it's one million of a milli of, of the volt. But what we see in the display is 
milliamps. So 0.60, for instance, in the display means 0.60 millivolt, uh, milliamps, I'm sorry, milliamps, which is in the display. Um, so in the display, you don't see millivolts, you see milliamps. And if you want to go from milliamps to microamps, you only have to um, multiply it by a thousand, because then you get the same number. If I look here at this area here, milli and micro, you'll see that uh, if, if I increase uh, the number, if I, if I multiply the number by, uh, in micro by a thousand, I automatically get uh, the milli. So knowing this, actually shows that 0.60 in your screen, 0.60 in your screen is 0.60, actually 0.6 uh, to be exact, uh, milliamps, which is exactly the same as multiplied by 1000, 600, microamps and these numbers are just the same it's like uh, telling someone uh, I have a, a, a beam which is 100 centimeters where the other one says well I have a, uh, I see that that beam is one meter and they're talking about the exact same length I hope you understand uh, the difference between milli and micro now and that you also see the difference between voltage um, uh, current, uh, which is in amperes, and uh, the resistance, which is in ohm. Good luck.